Hello YouTube, it is I and welcome back to Homestuck and rest in peace Terry Kizzer. Rest in chat. <laughs> I am joined by Pablo Escobar. Okay. Good to be back on the Iron and Jake <laughs> channel. <laughs> oh, aren't you in Dream Daddy? Like what's going on? I've got a lot of series. I've got a lot of things going on. Let man, just leave me alone. Me and my daughter have been moving around, been dating a lot of guys currently. Just leave me alone. <laughs> okay. Dream daddy. Okay. See, and I've I've got my I've got my singing career. I got my singing career going on too. So. Yeah, it's going great for you. All right. Anyways. Leave me alone. You you is gonna talk to you, and I'm so excited. Do you want me to be angry, you you, or regular, or like British, you you? That's right. I'm usually both of them, aren't I? Yep. <sighs> you can pick. I want to be Jigsaw. Okay. Okay. Let's go. They're playing chess. And I, it's lime green and red, and uh, <laughs> I and I could kick your ass at chess. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> wait. Wait. Oh, queens. Okay, I see. Okay. Is that a queen or what? I'm not sure what the... What the no, thing, the, I think that's a king up. because it because it moves. Why would it move back like that? It was being threatened. I forward, think it, and then the, this thing backed up. Yeah, exactly. I think it was being threatened, whatever it was. Yeah, but the red king clearly has the cross on it. So what's this one? Is that the queen? It looks like a bishop because there's two of them. Yeah, but bishops don't look like that. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but there's two of them. And if pawns. that's the case, then that oh, no, bishop can bishops, hit that other bishop. Because they're taller pawns. This doesn't Because the taller pawns look like our bishops, I think. This yeah, must it's... be a weird troll chest that has different pieces. Is he... Yeah, well, I mean, that's obviously their equivalent to a knight. Alright. Those are pawns, and I'm assuming those are bich bishops. That's... What is that? What's that thing that just moved forward? Well, that's a queen. Oh, so that is the queen. Because it's got a little dot on top instead of the And cross. that thing can it's move like... backwards and forwards like that. So what is that a rook? Oh, but it's, it's duh, it's a rook, yep. Okay, ma that makes the that makes what they're <laughs> doing a lot make a lot more sense. Yeah, it's a rook because the queen comes up and it threatens the rook, and the rook can't take the queen diagonally, so it can only move across like that. Yep. So it's backing up to safety. Yep, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm stupid. I'm a smart boy. <laughs> uh finally getting a bit aggressive with your queen there. Usually you aren't nearly as patient with her. This little gambit I permitted you just uh, at, at the start has certainly inspired some unconventional play. It's not going quite as miserably for you as, as I expected. I'm sorry to damn you with a faint praise, but with a track record, record like yours, I expect uh, one takes what he can get. <laughs> Rook to h4. Oh my god. That is pretty cool. So fucking so smug. Have I mentioned lately how great it's going to be when you're dead? Just because you have never lost a match doesn't mean you won't lose the game that really matters. Nor does it even mean you'll win this one. It's far from over. Trust me. Bishop to c6. Oh my god, bishop to c6. Alright. Well, why have you been enclosing all your, uh, your moves and quotes? Uh, you really have, uh, you have really been acting so odd this match. Knight to d6. Look out, I'm coming for her. I think she's languished behind the front lines long enough, wouldn't you say? Time to shake things up. Move her, take my knight. You know you want to take her. Just look at her there. What a cheeky intrusion. Slithered right into your uh, pa uh, palace and made herself comfy. Maybe she'll lay an egg once she's finished her feast. It might as well take her out, you know. When, what a, when an action begins, the pieces start to fall. That's when you make all your most creative mistakes. Anywho, far from over, you say? No, I don't imagine this game will be taking up much more of our time. <laughs> oh my fucking god blah 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 the quotes are part of the enchantment I mentioned like part of a spell you know magic you love magic and it's totally real knight to d6 the knight's dead your words are boring <laughs> the knight is dead your words are boring <laughs> you, you's gonna defeat oh <gasps> so we get to press play defeat you Oh wait, so let's go back, so... Oh, we can go through the moves! <gasps> ah! <laughs> Alright, so... Okay, so we got the queen moving up there, threatening the rook. The rook retreats. The bishop moves there to threaten the, the, the knight, right? Yep. The mm. knight moves there, and now and the king... And he's threatening the queen. 
Yeah, it's quite, and the queen and the king can't take the knight because the because the rook can take the would would be able to take the king. Yep. Uh, so no pieces can actually take that knight there. Uh, that knight's pretty safe. No, no, sorry, the other knight can take the knight. Yep. Because that's knight what and that's what happened. That knight. Yeah, it can take it, and then yeah, uh, and that's what happens. And then knight takes that. That the queen does. Queen then goes back over there, which uh, doesn't threaten anything right away. But um, it it could in the future. The Check. bishop then goes and, and checks. Uh, wait. Oh, that's that's a wait. What? Now, where's it checking? Where's the? I'm so confused. Me too. Where is it checking? Where did that check? Oh, it's a revealed check. When the bishop moves out of the oh. way, the rook behind it to the king. Yeah. Yeah. So the bishop, the rook's now checking the king. Uh, then the king moves over there. A pawn now moves up to threaten the queen. Uh, the bishop checks the king. The king cannot take the bishop because the uh, the rook's in the way. Yep. Um, king so moves away. The king moves away. The queen... I'm oh, sorry, the rook goes to check the king again. The king moves again. The uh, queen goes and checks the king again and moves forward. And the rook comes, checks, has to move back, and it's checkmate. Shit, nice. That is an end game for you. Yep. I've been I've been studying chess lately, like like actually. I've yeah, got I've books I've, been, that, I've so. been studying a lot of chess lately. It's been pretty interesting for sure. All right. I still don't know uh, what you think you're on about with this enchantment business. If a psych out tactic to break my concentration isn't working, queen to a five, the knight is dead. Your goose is cooked. <laughs> the knight is dead. Your goose is cooked. <laughs> No, it is working. You're actually playing very poorly right now, but you are blind to your mistakes by my enchantment. Bishop to F, bishop to F3. The bishop is dead. Your something is something. Whatever. Check. <laughs> Maybe yes, we should have like the yeah, taken the moves as it, they were talking. Oh yeah, we should do that. Sense. Okay, wait. Let's, let's go back. Your bishop is dead. So that's when. Let's go the back to the beginning. The it's there. Oh, keep going. Bishop. Yeah, keep going. Wait, where's the first check? There. That one. Bishop is dead, check. Mm hmm Alright. Uh, yes, there you go. That's the sort of aggression people paid top one dollar to see. King to d2. So next one. Moves the king out of the way. Um. Pawn to b6. This is great. That just threatens the queen. Mm hmm Um. Bishop to d6. The knight is dead. Your serpents are lost. Check. <laughs> Oh well, shit. I'll sure do. It sure does appear that I am in check. Guess I'll do something about that. King to f7. <laughs> oh my god. So they're not together, right? So what's happening is they probably both have chess boards and they're moving each other's pieces to what they say in the conversation. Yep. Right. All right. Oh dear, so much for your enchantment. That was a dire mistake. Mate in four. Rook to f4. Check. And mate in four. <laughs> now it's a force mate. Shit. Love it, because the king can only go one place. King to g7. And queen to e5, check. I love this so much. <laughs> Dude, this is nice. Go ahead. Uh, uh, that was it's the queen. king to g6. King to g6. Alright. Rook to g4. Ch uh, check. Uh, one more to go, love. Uh, well, what is left for me to do besides accept my defeat gracefully, King to H7? <laughs> That's a fine attitude. Maybe you are finally making some progress in the realm of sportsmanship. Queen to G7. Checkmate. No, it isn't. What are you talking about? Don't be a poor sport again. You are doing so well there, relatively speaking. The game is over. Better luck next time, bro. It's not over, sis. Look at the board closer. I am not in checkmate. What? <laughs> um. Oh, well, there's more moves. Wait. If we go all the way... Checkmate. No. Um. Yeah, there's, there's nothing that can happen. Wait, keep watching. Keep, like, just say... Okay. I have no idea what you're babbling about. Sounds like desperation to me. I'm looking at your at the pieces. Your king cannot step anywhere that does not put him in check, nor can the threats to him be limited by other means. You've been mated. The king is dead. Your enchantment has failed. 
That is not my king. <laughs> this is becoming silly. Unless you have something to say about the game, which actually makes sense, I am done with it. I have more important things to do. You are not done with anything unless you want to forfeit. Look closer at the king and queen and then remove their crowns. What? What do you mean, remove their crowns? <gasps> Fuck off. <laughs> That's not how chess This works. guy's a genius! Hold on, one second. I can actually have to figure out if that if the queen has moved more than one square at a time. This guy's a and their queen has not moved more than one square at a time. This guy's <laughs> a genius. <laughs> so technically there was no cheating going on. Exactly. This guy's a fucking genius. <laughs> Now this is what I'll do whenever we play whenever we play chess IRL, this is what I'm gonna do and you're gonna get fucked. <laughs> oh my god. Oh bloody hell, this is your enchantment? Are you serious? Ugh. This is your shittiest twist yet. Well played, sis! You checked me to my queen! Ah ha 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 ha! This is so fucking funny. I am just astonished. Not by the guile of your little ploy, but by the fact that you actually seem to think this was a clever ruse. It is just so painfully daft, I'm speechless. Never saw someone speechless who had so much to type. Thought of you all, I thought you of all people would appreciate my modifications. The crowns are really nice and well-crafted, form-fitting, hardly adding any weight. Like Captain, a tooth, you were completely fooled, and now the coveted prankster's game but between us belongs to me. Prankster's <laughs> Prankster's Gambit, goddammit. Prankster's right. Gambit. That's a new chess opening, isn't it? Alright. This is my new opening. <laughs> This is absurd. <laughs> the prankster gambit is just putting the king and queen's hats on wrong. <laughs> God. This is absurd. You nagged incessantly for me to allow you to reverse the starting positions of the king and queen. <laughs> I only agreed to get you to shut up about it, and regardless, I knew I could beat you anyway, even with your initial advantage, and I was right. How can you claim this is a legitimate strategy? Hey, the rules. I didn't break through any rules. I merely asked if you would agree to me swapping the starting position of the king and queen. You did agree, but then I didn't actually do it. When did I say I would? Never. I was only gauging your willingness to make the exception. I then went about decorating my king and queen with nice hats, which is also not against the rules. You did it all the fucking time. Give your pa game pieces horns to shit. You even give them names to bloody ca blood cats. Fuck. So if you have a... A problem with my decorations, I say, Pot, allow me to introduce you to the fucking kettle. I cannot believe you're defending this maneuver. Yes, I suppose some of these tactics are technically within the bounds of the letter of the rules, of the letter of the rules, but the entire charade was highly disingenuous and unsportsmanlike. It is unbelievably childish even for you. I know I am a child. So are you. It just so happens that you are a child who just got fucking served. It is not against the rules to be childish or disingenuous or unsportsmanlike. It's also not against the rules to be a bastard, which is another thing I am. I feel that. I felt Dude. that so hard. Same. <laughs> Every single thing I did was legal. My queen, disguised as a king, made moves like a king, which was within his capability. This was done to deceive you. My king, disguised as a queen, made moves like a king, because doing otherwise would break the rules. But you believed it at her powers, and I used this to my advantage, which was hilarious to observe watching you back away from threats. From that was, in truth, a distant king. All the while, my ruse patently obvious in hindsight went embarrassingly undetected. So rules have broken not once. So no, no rules broken not once. In fact, if anyone here broke the rules, it was you. What absolute bollocks! What rules did I break? This ought to be good. You agreed to let me start with the king and queen and swap positions. It's against the rules to make an obsession like that. Even if your opponent is being obnoxious about it, your willingness to break the rules is disgusting to me. <laughs> you should feel ashamed of yourself. Luckily, at least one oh of us God. has respect for the rules. I started with all my pieces in the correct positions, despite of your willingness to allow those rules to be broken, which, as I have a trust, is totally shameful. You are very unfortunate to have a bro who respects the integrity of the game, even where his sis might falter. A bro who, while fully adhering to the rules and exposing your hidden shameful tendencies, so managed to defeat you. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Wanna play chess, Ian? I... <laughs> Yeah, it's through chess.com, sure. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I want to play no. with little hats. Through this custom chess hat I'm making. Yeah! I'm 
make a chess you board. You prick. <laughs> you prick. Oh, I could just strangle you. You don't even know how tempted I am to do so right now. I did not break the rules. I was doing you a favor. In any case, you say you managed to beat me? When did, when did that happen? Even though you've exposed your ruse, you haven't actually beat, made it me yet. Grandmaster bro. Then you admit the game continues to be perfectly legitimate and still in play? Bring it on. Queen to C2. Oh Check. Little you, you defeat oh big you. Oh my god. Watch this. Okay, we'll move as the thing goes. Okay, so queen to C2. And then the king to E3. Mm -hmm. King to E3. Rook to E3. Check someone's in deep shit. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at this royal cock up. This is stupid. Now I either have to sacrifice my queen or move my king into a strategically horrible position. Why am I even going along with this? Yes, I sure it sure is a strategic dilemma. Who'd have thought that the game of chess would present such a scenario? Do you forfeit? You wish to hell with it. Let's sacrifice my queen the queen. I still put odds in my favor with the rooks and bishop versus your bishop, rook and queen. I've bested you before with less material and initiative on my side. Queen to c three. The rook is dead. My bro is Nars. Whoa, what a huge mistake, haha. -ha. I think I must be in your head even more than usual. Queen is C3, the queen is dead, the bitch fucked up. Check. No, oh, shut up and play. King to E2. King to E2 is that. Pawn to E5. Rook to C4. Wah! Another idiotic blunder. This is so easy. Queen to f3. Check. King to d2. Queen to d5. Check on the fucking run. Woo hoo hoo. Oh my god. Shush. King to c2. Queen of d6, the bishop is dead, his flesh consumed. <laughs> his flesh consumed. I'm gonna have to start saying this whenever we play chess. Wait, where did you put it? You'd better not have just literally eaten the bishop. Rook to c8. <laughs> Check. King of d7. Rook to h8. The rook is dead. Our shits weren't given. <laughs> rook is dead. Our shits weren't given. Queen to c5. Ha ha. Check. Any fuck. No, I don't ma I imagine this game will be taking up more, much more of our time. It's... Did someone let the snakes loose? Or is that the sound of my vicious burn? Oh my god. Do you think we should just read all of this and then go up and, and, and use the thing? Yeah, I think this is taking too long. Alright. Um. Oh, what, Roy? Gerd, king to d2, you say. Alright, king to d2. Queen to d5, check. King to e2. Queen to f3, check. King to d2. Queen to g4, the rook is dead, her chest set is shrinking. <laughs> Will you stop doing things with dead pieces? I swear, as if the juvenile enchantment wasn't enough. As it turns out, we are also losing or destroying pieces deliberately. I'm going to straight up flip a bitch. Rook to h7. Check. King to c6. King to c2. Wow, another awful move. You're playing almost as shitty as I usually do. Looks like my enchantment worked better than I thought. Something I was in reality. Fake ass magic. Queen to f e4. Check. King to b2. Queen to h7. The rook is dead. The jig is up. Mate in four or less. All right, let's see. Up in the... Should we go all the way back and then just watch it again, or should we just keep going? We just keep going. Okay. So the check, the king moves. Check again. King moves. Check again. Queen, king moves. Protected, protected by the bishop. Yep. Dead. Check. Yeah. King moves. King moves again. Wow. Check. Yeah, red is <laughs> very much so... Oh, God. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> red won. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh. Just slams the shit. Okay. 
As soon as he fi he won, he just decided to slam it. I mean, he didn't win, but he basically did. Yeah. Fuck this. I don't know why I bothered humoring your vile, underhanded rubbish. I hate you. Just, just sod right off to hell, please. Hey oh, there, so be she's careful. she's the one who, who hit the board. Yeah. Okay. Hey there, be careful. A guy could get the wrong idea and mistake your outburst for something collegianous. That would be most unsisterly, don't you think? Anyway, by the looks of this messy board, I'm going to assume you forfeited the match. <laughs> you are disgusting. I really loathe you, and no, not in that way. <laughs> <laughs> I am not going to talk to you for a while, probably a long while. And I only hope I can overcome my contempt for you when it comes time to play our game, but I'm not holding my breath. Leave me alone. You blocked me again? You know that doesn't do anything. Anyway, I'm happy we're in agreement that I won. You shouldn't underestimate me. I'll leave you alone for a while like you want, because Preeley, who cares about you? But you should believe me when I tell you someday I'm going to kill you in your sleep. Maybe even more than once. Select character. Select Oh my god, we're doing a character. Oh my god. Oh, shit. We can do all of them? Shit. Hey. Hey. It's exciting. Pog. Alright, who do we do first? Well, the game wants us to do them first, right? Sure. Do we want to pick a random number? Do we want to... Roll a die. Do, 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 do. But right to left is too obvious, too. We've got to do a weirder order than that. Do, 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 do. Two, four, one, three. Two, four, one, three. Got it. No, wait, 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 wait. Four, mm -hmm. one, three. Three, two. Mm. <laughs> or how about... To make it less obvious that we're doing uh, the the end or the beginning first, we should do two four one three. Two four one three. Yeah, I only did four one four one three two because of the homestuck thing. Yeah, two four one three. Two four. We can one, still three. do four one three, but start with two because so we don't start two, with the last four, one, one predictably. Three. So two four one three. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. <laughs> Now that you shot your fire box up, you shot your box up friend through time and space to Grandma Land. It's time to retrieve your lab globe, which you shrunk then hot potato down the rabbit hole. Then it'll be time to hoof it out of these most musty old ruins, assuming you can get that elevator working out again. Which might be a problem now that you think about it. Also, it seems the volcanic tremors have increased, which can't be good. Jake, look in the hole. It's a bit deeper than you thought. Now you're starting to wonder if you'll ever be able to get down there once you hop down. Why are there two transporter lights down there, and why are they covered like Prospect and Durst? <laughs> That's great. I'm scared. That's Jay. great. That's great. Hey, there are two transportalizers down there. Uh, two, look kind of like that. They were in your old house. You wonder where they go. Funny. And all the time you spent exploring this place never occurred. You look down here. Jake, jump down and get the globe. Oh, okay. He just sure. fucking yeets himself down. You mainly want to take what's inside it. That thing is supposed to be all kinds of important. You wonder if you can just, just sort of reach inside and Jake take it. <gasps> oh boy! Oh shit! That is the fourth wall. Oh shit! That is the fourth wall. All right. <laughs> you just sort of reach inside and take it. You have no idea what this thing could, is supposed to do. It's some particularly arcane loot your grandma pinched on in one of her daring expeditions. You've been told it's important, probably for puzzles later or something like something from one of the National Treasure movies that Nick. Came. I love the National Treasure movies so much. They're actually really good. I love them. Um. Then Nick Cage, you've seen the National Treasure movies, right? Of course. Yes, of course. I, they're they're great. Like I love them. Nick Cage. It's not even like it's not even Nick Cage. It's like just they're good movies. No, nah, no, nah, it's just Nick Cage. Nick Cage makes them better, but Nick Cage makes everything he's ever in better. <laughs> like uh, Nick Cage finds Very a secret man. president, and he doesn't know why it's important. He just shoves it in his satchel and keeps doing adventures until it randomly becomes important. <laughs> it was not a problem that you made it small, so small. Uh, wait, that's exactly the kind of thing the hero doesn't worry about. Cage would just pocket his tiny window thingamabob and keep being awesome. Shit like that's for the plot to figure out, not the brave gun toting hero. <laughs> Looks like the shades are bugging you again. Why are you not surprised, Jake answer? Dude, I'm, like doing all these deep voices is fucking on my throat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's fine. Do you want to be Jake then? or? No, 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 no. I was just like saying... Like okay, it's fine. I love I love you these, I love the deep voice character. I love the deep yeah. You use voice like fucks up my voice more than anything. Fair because it's like ah yeah you do it. Hold up, before you get any further, there's been a change of plan. 
Oh, why am I not surprised? Still no human Dirk? Don't worry, you'll see him very soon, in a way. <laughs> what is the change of plan? Well, not a change of plan so much as an acceleration. Everyone needs to get into the game sooner than expected. There's a new unaccounted for variable. I see. Variables are, are and whatnot. Let's cut to the chase. What do I need to do? Install the server. I downloaded it to your computer along with a few other crucial system upgrades. Oh my god, look up. <laughs> delirious biz nasty. How many of those delirious biz nasties <laughs> exist now? There are a whole lot of them. <laughs> One, two, three, four, complete five. Complete bullshit. The content aggregator. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven motherfucker. But more importantly, there's the server client. <laughs> the ser not server client, server program. Server. I'm guessing Jake's bringing D Dirk in right now. Yep. All right. Crucial upgrades, huh? I don't know about what about crucial. I don't know about crucial, buddy. I see you've trolled me with like 50 copies of this dumb fuck social media software for cool bros and hats. But okay. Damn, nothing gets by English. The guy is untrollable. Okay, I installed it. Should it? Should it? Should I run it? <laughs> yes, you'll be conducting with dirt. I, s I will have Jane connect with Roxy. Setting up a chain like this will be important. Sure, if you say so. The copy is programmed to connect automatically with the client Dirk is running. Do it quickly. His life depends on it. Wait a second. Wait. First of isn't all... Isn't Roxy's... Isn't Roxy Jane's server player? No. Dirk oh, was. Remember, Dirk remember, Dirk, player? I remember, forgot. remember Dirk took took it over because... Oh, okay. Because of reasons. I can't remember exactly what they were. No, it was because yeah, Ro Roxy didn't want her playing the game. So Dirk just went ahead and took it upon himself to just ha be the server okay. player. Or, or the glass. No, it's, it's not Dirk himself, but the glasses are. Oh. The glasses okay, are I'm the confused. player. Whatever. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, first, sure, so. if you say so. Huh? Oh, did we finish the... We didn't finish the page. Yeah, we did. No, we didn't. Oh, wait. It's life defend. Oh, wait. What the fuck? Why did I click next? <laughs> uh, I said sure if you say so. Uh, we'll be connected to third. Uh, copies program. That's where you're at. The copies program. I, was, I already read that. Did you? I did not, don't remember it, but okay. Great, Caesar's ghost. Why didn't you say so? Okay, done. Hey, there's his room. Hey... <laughs> I'd recognize that room anywhere. Horses, puppets, holy smokes, there's, there's a man who knows what he likes. Damn straight. But where is he? I, I don't see him elsewhere in the place. Lots of priceless spodge merch, though. I'm so jealous. I'll see him. I'll see about hooking you up when you join the game. Uh, no promises, though. He's pretty attached to all that shit. He's not yet transcended into the primitive desire for material goods, as he's not too conjoined con triangles of pure, unflappable logic. Oh, what? So, <laughs> sorry, as a parish on overly intellectual triangles, sometimes my wording can be a bit obtuse. <laughs> Lol, just joking, bro, that sucked. How do I find Dirk and save his life? Why did you laugh at that? Because it was great. I'm disappointed. Obtuse? Obtuse angles? I'm disappointed. Math jokes? <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> Alright. Zoom out. Way out. Eureka, you, you, you're, you're right, he sure does look like look to be in a thorough pickle. My impulse is to message him now, uh, but you're kind of uh, bogarting his chum handle, so I don't even know how to do that. He's concentrating on some things d happening on Durst at the moment, not to mention some uncannily similar things going down on Earth, which seems you have noticed. He's also talking to someone, trying to appraise the exact nature of the threat. Unfortunately, as a carbon-based life form, his comprehension of the situation has taken shape at a somewhat slower pace than the jaw-dropping speed of post-singularity cognition. So I'm taking the reins and accelerating the plane on his bath while he's bat busy with the corporeal stuff as usual. Okay, then how do I help? Deploy all devices in the per finale in the Fernalia registry, ideally in places that aren't stupid. Do it quickly so he can activate the entry sequence to escape. I will have them deployed lickety split. The flaming ocean is nothing to sneeze at. It is fixing to burn his uh, skeletal high rise thing right the heck down. Really, the fire is not the most ex significant threat. Oh, the robots are on the way. No, do you on see the red the stringy way? stuff coming from the sky? Um. Do you know what that stuff is? Ah, red miles. Yes. What the fuck? Oh, I guess. But I guess uh, the contest probably has one of the rings. Yep. Are you blind? He's right there, Jake. Oh, you mean the super deadly red shit? Red miles. 
Yes, the super deadly red shit. Say no more, I understand the threat and will now spring into action guns blazing. Well, maybe not guns blazing. The guns are how they blaze the guns and how they blaze are will be metaphors for my tenacity and, and gumption as an elite gamer. Who is that? It's probably one of Dirk's robots. Doesn't look like a robot to me. It looks like a robot to me. Look at the mouth. It could be a mask. I mean it could be, but I'm pretty sure it's a robot. I'm like ninety eight percent sure. I don't know, maybe. Just fucking deploy the stuff, you human hung his door. the same shoes as the other robot. Fair enough. I'm not sure. Jake, deploy. That was dumb. Putting that there <laughs> is dumb. He said he wouldn't put it somewhere dumb, and he put them all in places that are dumb. Of course. <laughs> the thumbs up. <laughs> there we are. No sweat. Cool. Haha. <laughs> he did a thumbs up to at me. Hey, buddy. Say hey, buddy to him. Okay, he says hey. Sweet, now what? Stand by, he may need further assistance once he begins the sequence. How long will that take? Once he's ready, he'll try to nudge him along, but unfortunately, the fact that he's now notwithstanding, Dirt can be just as sluggish and uncooperative as the rest of you goddamn meat mannequins. Understood. Uh, that being as it is in the meantime, I think I'll poke into one of these transporty doodads. What? No, you fickle fuckwit. Stay your ass put. Jake transport a lies. <gasps> Uh oh no 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 double D's in there. Jay, this is this is double D's room. Jake is not in the media yet. He just fucking trick. Oh my god, Jay. He's in double D's room now. Well, not necessarily the room, but this is this is Durs and double D just. No, this is the room. That's all. That's all. No, this is the exact room that he was in earlier. Remember? That's the background that was there. I'm sure the backgrounds were used, Jay, but I don't know. Um, maybe. But, Jay? How the fuck? Jay just fucking has portals to both Prospect and Durst now. Because he's a guy. Not even the medium yet. He's a guy. And, and ways back to Earth. Once he's in the medium. Yes. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, what is this place? Things are sure are rumbling here in the Enchanted Purple Palace. I can't believe... Jay? Hmm? What about time shenanigans? Oh god, time shenanigans now! Like, hold on a second. Like, these portals, are these portals specifically bring people back to Jake's time rather than D uh, Dirk and Roxy's time? Oh god. Because this is clearly the present in Durst, because DD, Double D is, is destroying everything. I hate so, this. I hate this so much. I hate it so fucking much. What the fuck? <laughs> This is Jake okay. gonna run into Dream Dirk? Because that's what Dee Dee's doing, is going after Dream Dirk. Oh no. Oh god damn it, what the fuck? Okay, anyways. Whoa, what is this place? Things sure are rumbling in here in this enchanted purple place. I can't believe I never found this hidden transport pads under the thing. Dude, I could have told you they were there. How did you know about them? I didn't, but it's like platformer game 101. You look everywhere for secret passages and power-ups and shit. Elevators are especially fucking suspicious. You get on an elevator, you wait for the elevator to go back up, you take a peek at what's underneath, maybe it's just death spikes, or maybe you hit warp zone pay dirt. You are so wise. I will never be in, as an elite of a game bro as you. I'm not a game <laughs> bro. I just know literally everything about basically all subjects. Now go back to where you came from. Dirk might need help. Will you untwist your virtual knickers? I have everything under control. I think this may be where my grandma used to go during some of her expeditions. You don't just pass up the chance for an adventure like this. Yes, Jake, you do. How much deeper down the damn bunny hole do you need to go? There's no white rabbit waiting for you there. We will just see about that. Besides, I have my skull top with me, so I can swoop in to assist Dirk at any time. Shit. Sorry, I'm fixing something real quick. No worries. There we go. I fucking hate this long ass wire. <laughs> yeah. Boy. But, um. What are we gonna. Uh. You just pass up this name. This is an atrocious idea. The next page. Next page. More red, my. It's Dirk. It's Dream Dirk. Yeah. And Jake's like, what the f. And Jake's. Jake, is Jake looking at Dream Dirk? He's looking at everything. Nope, yep, yeah, yeah, they are looking at each other. <laughs> okay, what the fuck is he doing here? I hold no accountability for this fi fiasco. <laughs> That's a good question, Dirk. That's about to fall out from under. Oh, fuck. Is that... 
Hello? It's Jane. It's a white rabbit! Sort of! <laughs> Liv Tyler's the white rabbit. That's not Liv Tyler, that's the bunny bot. What's that? that? Oh yeah, that's the... No, but he didn't... What did Jane name it? No, it was a... Uh, what was this one's name? Little Sebastian. Little Sebastian, yes. God damn it. <laughs> oh yeah, Jane too. <laughs> and I guess we're gonna figure out how Jane got there when we talk. To, when we do Jane's path. No, we're doing two, four, one, three. Yeah, well, when we do Jane's path, we'll figure out how the hell she got there. Yep. <laughs> All right. We're gonna First perspective. All right. Better hurry up, you can't escape the miles. No one can escape the miles. Why do you keep saying that? Are you trying to turn it into some sort of thing? It already is a thing in, in, in as much our fact, as, as facts are things. Here are more facts that are things. You're going to die soon. Your whole universe is going to die because you can't escape the miles. Sorry, it's not going to start being a thing no matter how much you say it. Give it a rest. No. What I don't understand <laughs> is how, that, how the attack is making its way here from Durst. Is that even possible? Wait. Was Little Yu Yu saying that he killed Big Yu Yu? But Big Yu Yu's dream self. D the dream self. Oh, yeah, that's what happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why I, w I was, like, thinking about that, but I was. Um, what? Just because the same thing is happening there, you think there is a cor correlation beyond some sort of circumstantially simultaneous fuck rubbish? You are so dumb. So, you know why this is happening? Yes. These miles are from Jack, way outside your universe. The miles on Durst are from another guy, who's just sitting in a castle somewhere, probably. That doesn't actually explain a whole lot, but okay. <laughs> Someone commissioned Jack, sort of. <laughs> Put out a hit on your entire universe, and all its uh, internal iterations. Don't you think that's fucking awesome? <laughs> I thought you didn't know much about her story. You usually like to brag about how you don't care about the details like that. I merely just skimmed past it with all, uh, all with disgust, except for the parts where people die. I could read those over and over, and also maybe parts where people kiss, in the way that when you chance upon something unspeakably and viscerally abhorrent, it gets hard. <laughs> Does it now? <laughs> to pry your eyes away. <laughs> Did I finish? To pry your eyes away. Oh. <laughs> hey. Why are you giving up one of your human thumbs up into the sky? It, it is an indecent gesture. I guess you probably think so. Oh yes, I think it's probably true. Keep showing me the nasty. I demand a steady diet of a uh, uh, ribaldry and shudder, poignant expression. Either keep that up or make sure that the corpse pile doesn't stop from getting taller. Or both, ideally. Both would be great. Your cigarro babbling is just so choice today, but I really have to go. Gotta escape all these goddamn miles, remember? <laughs> you can't. You can't escape. The miles right by. But seriously, wait. What? I wanted to give you something, a present. What? Oh? It's a token of, uh, thanks. Ugh. For what? Can we seriously move this along? For helping me with the thing you just helped me build. God, what are you talking about? For you, it was years ago, but for me, soliciting for your assistance is quite recent. Oh, all right, I remember now. You're always, always all over the timeline. Somehow I expect people to know what they're t you're talking about. So what's the present? Before I give you this treasure, first you must do something for me. Man, you really do struggle with human customs, don't you? When you're about to give someone a gift out of gratitude, you don't then start negotiating with them asking for shit before handing it over. Just fucking give it to me already. No, do what I say first. Okay, what do you want me to do to collect my awesome pride you're allegedly thanking me with? Your juju. Remember I told you to bring it to the roof? Kel? Yeah, I remember. Shh, don't say its name, you idiot. Now take out the juju. Take out Kel. Okay, now what? Now throw it in the fire. Screw you, I'm not chucking a seaman into a flaming ocean. It is your ultimate ab abomination. Uh, your juju may be dead and hollow, but something tells me that might make it more, even more dangerous. Discard it at once. Treasure beyond compensation is your reward. Hey, leave Cal out of this. No, keep your keep your treasure. You know, oddly, I trust you. You here. <laughs> what do you think that, that Cal is that terrifying? I think uh, Cal might something might happen. Where you think Cal's going to become Considering, God? I, I don't know, man. G it's not like, G Cat anymore. It's the becomes, most important character in Homestuck. It so. becomes G Cal. G Cal. God damn it. <laughs> 
All right. Leave Cal out of this. As if it is not inevitably destined to fall from your human fingers and become erased and as your universe dies. Didn't I mention a juju can never truly be copied? If two appear to exist, there's just one in rea one in reality, one in your dreams, it is only an illusion, either never true or soon to be corrected. There can only ever be one. Well, I'm not tossing him, so that's that. You will, though. Anyway, you took it out. I will deem that compliance enough and reward you with my gratitude. I think instead of that, thanks, though, I will call it a birthday present. This is my birthday. Not yours, jerk. Oh, so it's your birthday? It will be, if everything goes according to plan. How cryptically meaningless, and you continue to struggle with human customs. You don't give other people presents on your own birthday. Anyway, just tell me what it is. It is a work of fine art, the very first I've ever attempted. You will find it suitably conveys our special bond. Let's see. The fuck? <laughs> uh, what the fuck am I talk what am I looking at here? Well, okay, wait, look at the, look at the picture, right? Okay. The orange is jerk. That's jigsaw. The black jigsaw. Pink is Roxy, and light blue is Jane. I guess. Well, how how is this gonna get explained? <laughs> and is that a strand of purple there? Hmm. That looks purple to me. I think it's just pink going down. But it's a completely different shade. It looks like to me. I don't think so. I can't tell. It just do doesn't look like the rest of the line to me. I don't know. Whatever. If you say so. Uh, what the fuck am I looking at here? Don't you see? It's, it is us. You and me. We are getting a little, perhaps a little too friendly, if you will. <laughs> I really don't see it. What do you mean? This fucking scribbly bullshit is us? Are we shaking hands or something? Whoa, whoa, dude. <laughs> fuck, you haven't even turned your mind in me. I'm fucking outclassed by your reprehensible imagination once again. Can't say I'm surprised. So it's just us? What about the bitches? I thought you found a scarcity of the bitches to be all but unacceptable. The bitches, as you see, as you can plainly see, have been far from neglected. Look, they're right there, asshole. The bitches appear to be <clears throat> rather enjoying each other's company. Ooh, so gnarly to imagine what filth my own hand is wrought. Yeah, gnarly is about right. This is utter shit. You know that, don't you? <laughs> Please don't tell me you're actually incapable of understanding how bad this drawing is. What? No, fuck you. That's pretty good, at least for a first try. If you actually think this even qualifies as a drawing, <laughs> I'm going to have to say you are literally the worst artist who has ever existed. <laughs> What the fuck? This is how you treat my birthday thank you gift? That's not his thing either. He must have some wires crossed between your left and right brain, like a weird perceptual disorder or something like that. It's actually kind of fascinating that you think you achieved this some achieve something visually coherent or recognizable. This is outrageous. <laughs> Anyways, gotta go. You're drawing blues later. <laughs> oh my god. You can be the glasses if you want. I don't care. Do you, you want me to be? I don't care either way. Okay. Hey, just wondering if you're uh, fully abreast in our little situation developing endures. What, the Miles situation? Yeah, notice. No, keep looking. Wait. Oh. Oh, hell no. I know, right? Uh, he's, he's seeing um, Jake. Jake. All right, one time. One time. Now we see how Jane got there. Oh, there's probably like a, a transportalizer in there, isn't there? Probably, I'd assume. Your nimble friend returned with the duplicated obelisk, allowing you to into, uh, allowing you to enter the crypt and pursue your father. Ahead appears to be a locked door that was punched clean through. You are on the right track. You are sure of it. Jane examined. Jane examined door. You can smell his cologne, or at least you think you can. Maybe you're just imagining it. You know what? What? It doesn't seem to matter. And someone punched through this door, and that guy wasn't your dad. End of story. Another incoming message from your client shaved. Your client human sure is a busy guy. You barely heard a peep out of him since you got here. Jane, answer client shades. The leery is biz nasty. Oh, the same thing. Hold up. Before you go any further, there's been a change of plan. Really? Well, not an exchange of plans so much as an acceleration. Everyone's getting to the game sooner than expected. There's a part there's a new account unaccounted for variable, particularly for Roxy and Dirk. Now, what is it? They're gonna die if they don't join the game very soon. Shucks. Hey, I'm not upset about it too, but let's watch the fucking language. <laughs> <laughs> Calling out for shucks and then saying fucking language. <laughs> Okay, what do I do? Install the server. I downloaded your computer along with a few other crucial system upgrades when we established our connection. 
Upgrades? What upgrades? Uh, oh wait, is that how this stupid delirious business the application got on here? New comment. Install and run the server. You will be connecting with Roxy. I will have Jake connect with Dirk. Setting up a chain like this will be important. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Why? It seems that I have again no comment. Sheesh, very well then, Mr. Zipperlips. <laughs> Mr. Swipper Pips. <laughs> I don't have lips. You said something laughably illogical. How typical of someone who isn't a fashion accessory but immeasurable intelligence. Fine. How about Mr. Zwipper Pips? <laughs> Shut up. That's not illogical, right? Because you're... <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Let's curta curtail the horseplay th this once uh, This once, while I help Roxy. Okay, I installed it. Now what? Should I run it? Yes, the copy is programmed to connect automatically with the client she's running. Okay, Doki. Doing that now. Hey, I can see your room. It's a really nice room there, but where is she? Huh, her drunk is her drink is still there, so she can't have gone far. Oh snap. I don't see her anywhere in the rest of the house. I I see plenty of plush wizards and uh window gizmos and pumpkins. Really, Roxy? What an unusual house design. Are all the are all the homes in the future like this? You mean the ones that are underwater? Yes, they're all almost exactly like this. <laughs> I just tried messaging her but no response. Sure, she's out cruising the hood, probably messing with the locals, maybe attempting some ill-advised drunken heroics. Pretty tight numerical probability of that. I just decided with unfailing precision. She said things were on fire when we last talked. Actually, she said the whole neighborhood was burning down, if I recall, but judging up by the view outside her window, it looks lovely outside. What exactly is the danger I'm saving her from here? Zoom out. Way out. Chain zoom out. <laughs> yep. Oh no, Roxy, where are you? We'll track you down. The important thing to do now is deploy all the devices quickly so the house will be ready to jet the moment she gets back. How do you know she... Oh, bad. <laughs> I didn't know she's not hurt. That's statistically remote, given that I can track the coordinates of certain devices she carries and they are present presently in motion. Real fire is not the most significant threat, or even the drones. And then what is? You see that red stringy stuff going in the sky? Oh, yes. What is that? Red miles. If sources are to be trusted and my calculations are reliable within a point zero zero one margin of error, it's a bunch of super deadly red shit. No time to get into that now. Just deploy <laughs> the devices quickly. You know the drill. Right, let's see. Uh, there's hardly any space in here to, to put anything. I'll have to make some room. I don't want to damage any of your belongings, though. That would be unconscionable. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeet. 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 Whoops. The magic dad, never, this trackpad is awful. <laughs> How's your dad computer? Why does he have to buy computers, computers at the Dadly Depot? Why does he have to buy everything at the Dadly Depot? <laughs> I really need to keep looking for him soon. Thinking about our expeditions to the Dadly Depot is making me miss him. Really need to hurry up and deploy that junk instead of that. Okay, and deploy. Yep. There. Those seem like suitable locations for the equipment. Yeah. Hey, where's little Seb? Just wandering around, fidgeting and stuff. Just know how he is. Just stay at your post until Roxy gets back. I think he went through the door. Jane, Jane followed the rabbit. rabbit. Mm. Oh, this is how she gets into Durs. Yep. He just disappeared on the platform. I think it might be some kind of transport device that works via teleport uh, teleportation. A kind of transportalizer to coin a completely silly and novel term. <laughs> That's great. Now sit back down and wait for Roxy. She'll be home soon. I think that's where my dad went, to, went too. I have to follow him. No, James. Not follow the rabbit. Let's cool it with the Wonder what land shit already. How much further through the damn looking glass do you even need to go? <laughs> Oof. Chain transport lies. It'll be fine. I'll bring my computer with me. I can attend to Roxy's entry along the way. I love how they're making him robotic because he has the same fucking reaction to everything. This is an atrocious yeah. idea. Like, it just ma yeah. makes you remember how he's just a pair of glasses. Exactly. And then there we go. Yep. Yeah. Jane looks up. <laughs> what in the name of Jesus H. Dick is she doing here? <laughs> oh, do you want me to be... Uh, 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 well, I thought we were going to do that since this is pretty much the same oh. scene as early. Yeah, I don't know. I am blameless in this debacle. All right. All right. Continuing. And then they look over at each other like, wait a minute. Oh, wow. It's Jake. Sl Holy shit. I didn't character. expect that. <laughs> Select character. 
I love how <laughs> that that's what happens whenever you start from here. <laughs> yep. All right. Then Roxy. You've been scr uh, scrambling around this burning colony for who knows who even knows how long, evading attacks from drones. All the commotion has really started to harsh your buzz. It seems the drones have withdrawn from their pursuit, as far as you can tell, but a new threat is taking their place, some sort of red stringy stuff coming from the sky. You have a very bad feeling about it. You think it's time to find your way home and get out of the dodge. A dodge, in this case, being the universe. Seems like you're running away from missiles and trying not to get blown up. Messages from friends have been piling up. These chumps need to calm down. Don't they realize how hungover you are starting to feel? Everybody needs to chill the fuck out. These chest guys behind you feel, need to chill out, too. The whole world needs to chill out and stop being so noisy and bring it bright and on fire. Roxy answer chumps. I think this was actually the best one to do last because it's unrelated to the other ones, really. Agreed. <laughs> hey, where are you? I can't find you anywhere in your crazy house. It's just wizards and pumpkins as far as the eye can see. I hope you're okay. Please get back to me as soon as you can. Oh no, you were snoping up my house, scopping my gourd hoard. Janie, what are you doing? What is going on here, Jane? God damn it, Crockett, leg, head hurts. <laughs> I'll be Dirk here and you yeah. can be. Okay, cool. Are you sure? Are you sure? Because the rest of this is just Dirk and Roxy. Uh, which, would, which one would you rather be? I don't care. Which one would you rather be? I like Dirk a lot. Okay, go ahead. Judging by the sporadic rates of change in your present coordinates, it seems that you have been running around like a lunatic. When those ridiculous flesh st stilts you refer to as legs settle down, you have a minute to talk. Please respond. Smup shades. Sup. Are you in danger? No. Well, not in like Rob was wanting to kill me immediately. Is in literally right now in danger, but still probably some danger. It's hot and all the crumbling, flamey buildings are so screwed. I just want to go lie down. Plus, there's shit coming from the sky. What shit do you mean? Super doodly red shit. Right, the miles. That's why I'm going. I need you to get to home, home quickly. What is taking you so long, anyway? Why has your path been so circu circuitous? Surely you can't be even more inebriated than before. <laughs> no, no, less. Trust me, me, my me. Okay, then what? I've been trying to, I guess, round up some neighbors whenever I see them and try to get them to follow me home, which is hard in itself. You're accumulating Carapacian refugees. Yes. That seems like oh, a. Oh, that's actually really sweet. That seems like a very inefficient and risky use of your time. That's really sweet. Nah, it's it's, it's inefficient and risky. I know, but they always seem confused and don't know what to do, and everything's bunring bunring down. I think I should just try to take some with me. I can't just leave all the poor chess guys to, here to die. Can't leave all the poor chess guys here to die. Alright, this is fine. It's like what have it. Your imperfect human sentiment mentality has been completely factored into my calculations. You should be okay. Just get back to your house as quickly as possible now. There's no time left. LMAO at your calculations as if hotos are real. Okay, I'll get moving. <laughs> We're gonna need to connect with Jake to bring him into the game. You'll complete the chain of entry. This is very important. Okay, Jane was trying to reach me. Messing with my pumpkins or some scent shit. Where is she? There's been a little so subordination is issue there with both Quacker and English, actually. Trider and I are working on it. Why are you talking about subordination? You're saying those chuckle fucks went rogue? Sort of. But that's what I do. Pulls just be front and hard in my roguey turf. Roguish? Roguish is better. It means sly. <laughs> Don't worry about it for now. Just do your part and catch up with him later. Who knows? Maybe you'll prove yourself to be the only 100% cooperative, fully competent non-strider player. How ironic would it be if the best player turned out to be the drunk girl? Wouldn't that be sweet? Yeah. <laughs> Go home. Connect with Jake. Deploy the equipment in the ruins of his old house. They'll focus on actually getting him there. Kids, seriously a work in progress, I gotta say. Are you sober enough to do all that? I think the answer, unfortunately, is yes. <laughs> Damn it, I'm sober enough to do my job. <laughs> oh, Jake, right, me, what are you doing? Oh, <gasps> oh my God. No! Jay! That's so sad. <laughs> this is Roxy's phone background. That's so sad. <laughs> she really is in love with Jake. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. That's sad. Mrs. Lund, do you be, ca do be careful. 
I can see that you are preoccupied with regresses at the moment, but your viewpoint is beginning to black out more frequently. I wanted to talk to you one last time before you enter and your whole session blacks out for good, and before, well, before I possibly do the same. Please reply when you have the chance. Hi, what's up? What's this? About you blacking out for good? Blood pack? Wait, no, never mind. <laughs> Ah, oh, hello, Escape Trouble, I presume? How are you doing? feel kind of like shit, but other than that, I'm toter's perf. I'm <laughs> starting to wonder if drinking early today wasn't the coolest idea. I have all these responsibilities on my brain telling me to go fuck my elf self. Ain't wanna fuck no elf, not in this condition at least. I would probably <laughs> need some hella strong coffee before boning an elf. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry to hear you're feeling under the weather, but now I'm wondering, hmm, could it have been that regular intake of your so soporific liquids was inhibiting your communication with the void, rather than exaggerating them as I had presumed? If the effects are wearing off, it could explain the increase in viewport blackouts. And once they wear off completely, perhaps that is why your entire session goes dark on your entry? That is an interesting theory that has, like, mostly no useful bearing on anything, probably. You're probably right. Still, I can't help but speculate in such matters. It is what I do. Yeah, I think I was being a dick, but I'm not sure. Sorry, Glarhurgle. I'm sure feeling leak a gross bunch of nasty trash in a scarf. All taking my surly shit out. Oh, nice and cute aliens. Oh, not to worry. Hey, you, I, you, you. You know everything, right? <laughs> if only. Okay, well, what is with the looming strandy crap in this guy? The Miles Blast is calling that? I know I gotta escape them, but what are they actually gonna do? Uh, I do know a thing about, or two about the Red Miles. It is the Queen's favorite attack, very long distance and omnidirectional. But once upon a time, her weapon was stolen by a usurper. Jacked, you could say. <laughs> I, hate, I hate that. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, I'll stab you. I will literally pull out a knife just like Jack and stab you like 18 times. <laughs> right off her finger. But. Then given a considerable boost in power, they gave the miles, miles enough of a kick to rip the universe to shreds. And they've been doing so to yours, and it's many instances for eons. Only now have they caught up to your instance. It is quite fortunate it's taken so long, really. Some instances are tucked deeper into the speaker's mighty blow sack, and will hold out for much longer, and on a vast cosmic st scale, of course. Wait, I don't... What instances blow sack? Right now I can hardly walk without stepping on mom's scarf, okay? So they're destroying the universe? Is that the bo bottom line? Yes, try to think of it like this. Imagine that the universe is contained inside a very large creature. Say a giant, a great big frog. <laughs> uh, no, uh, a frog? What, 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 would we call him Billius Slick? Billy or the Slick. speaker of the, the, speaker of the vast, of the vast croak? croak? Some shit like that. Why a frog? It's so silly. <laughs> Max is from Dirk. Frogs are illegal. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's just a frog. Uh, th that's the way it is. Just try to imagine okay, it. Okay, picture in big old space frog. I'll rip it in loud and be in huge. <laughs> <laughs> now imagine that, that not only does the universe exist inside it, depending on the creature's health and well-being to survive, but every potential instance of that universe in exists inside it as well. Those that are doomed and those with promise. Even those that were reset from scratch. Which, with slightly different setting, uh, starting conditions, all of those interrelated universes mingling together inside your frog, inextric inextricable from its physiology. If the frog dies, they all go with it, eventually. Then you are saying some rude a-hole is killing a frog. Sadly, yes. Wow, that is just the worst. Well, it could have been worse. Actually, the Miles could have spread to your universe before it had the chance to sprout, sprout your lovely planet, providing a home for you and your wonderful mates. All universes die at some point, some sooner than others. It is all a, it is all part of the cycle, and sometimes th uh, things like this must happen for reasons beyond our understanding. But this is neither here nor, nor there. I did not intend to go blathering about all that and waste an important conversation with you. I think the truth is I'm probably just get stalling. Stalling what? I have some important things to tell you. I'm afraid I'm going to be breaking so many rules in doing so. I am not used to breaking rules. It makes me very uncomfortable, but it may be my only chance. I hope you won't think... Of Think less of me for it. Oh boy. No way. I don't even know what rules you're talking about. Time shit rules. If it's time shit rules, I don't give a fuck about those. And I'm going to stop thinking you're great if you break them. And 
I'm not I'm not gonna stop thinking you're great if you break them. Are you in trouble? Yes, but so are you, and I've distracted you enough. Concentrate on returning to your home. Once you are there and preparing for the game, I'll contact you again and tell you everything that you that I've been wanting to tell you. Also, I wanted to give you something. Oh man, what is it? Just a thing, you'll see. Now run along. By the way, my character being like, yeah, just get there first and then I'll tell you everything you want to know is a major death flag. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> like a major death flag. I selected all those characters. Now we move on. Um, so... Oh my god. There was something I was going to say. I forgot what it was. Um, let me go back up. Oh yeah. Um, I think... So my theory right now is this is actually technically before um, everybody departs. Or like everybody, like I think this is when Jack is actually killing, like still killing the frog, because they're probably at the same point that the exiles were, in pre scratch, the same year, same time, right? Mm -hmm. So they were attacking the exiles world and now Roxy and Jerk's world at the same time because it's this, they're at the same point in time, and this is before they end up, Jack ends up, Jack ends up um, following after the veil. So, mm -hmm. it's my guess, anyways. Interesting. All right. Select all those characters. Time to move on. Yep. Press the armway feeling refreshed and invigorated by all the free will you were just dealt. The story was your oyster for a while there, or more specifically, if it was one, if it was one of four slightly different oysters you could choose from in any order, as long as you ultimately selected and consumed all four oysters when all was said and done. <laughs> this must be what it feels like to be a god, you think to yourself, or at the very least a patron of a seafood restaurant. <laughs> Roxy returned home. <coughs> My god. So we did it right, because we came out with Roxy as the last one, and now we're going back for Roxy. Hey, That was actually the, a great order. Like, I'm very happy about that order. <laughs> I told you... No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. You have returned home to find a variety of... Uh, why am I doing that in a voice? You have returned home to find a variety of devices deployed throughout your house, and a variety of fires starting to burn it down. Roxy put out fires. Hey, the Carapacians! Oh no, not the GameCube! No! You quickly put everyone on bucket duty to douse the flames. Now you guess you wonder why your mom left all these buckets in the house. I always thought it was a passive aggressive reminder for you to keep up with the housework. The behest of the roguish leader, the royal band of merry men, goes straight to work in getting the fires under control. The Robin Hood reference is lost on them. Also lost on everybody in this sordid spectacle that appears to resemble from an alien perspective. With all these buckets sloshing around and whatnot, your void powers cannot black out this rapid debauchery soon enough. Roxy, connect with Jake. <laughs> Oh boy. And then Roxy gets something beer. Hmm. You run the server program which auto connects with Jake, and a, a viewport of his old house just pops right open. It's gonna be so easy. You can already tell compared to you, everyone else sucks so bad at this game, not to mention in at computers in general. You better deploy all this equipment ASAP. Not only are you in a hurry to hop into the session yourself, but it looks like his volcano is beginning to erupt. Some lava started as a forest fire. Oh boy. Um, only you can prevent forest house. fires. <laughs> Um, no sign of Jake yet. Hopefully the Dirks can somehow tag team that doofus and make him get it with the program. Oh, right, she was going to message you when, when you got home. You almost forgot. Uh, time to switch gears and, and, and go into multitasking mode. You'll uh, you'll get as much done as you can while you t talk, also while nursing this hangover. It takes a special kind of hacker babe to be able to handle that, you think. You truly are as, de as deadly to the grid ass. You are beautiful. Grid ass, you are beautiful. Mark, see me multitask. <laughs> I can't see you, but you must be back by now, yes? Why, and I am now hexing up Storm, if you stand by, if you stand by, stand? Hexing? I don't even know, my fingers are the mean little beaks of furious woodpeckers, and my keyboard is a pitiful plank of cruddy wood, guarding a trove of tasty bungs. It's guarding them, I might add, moist fucking unsuccessfully. Ooh. <laughs> As my digits just rain danger on this hapless lamp top, the result of my tappy onslaught is line after wicked line of elite, elite filthy codes, aka the government's worst nightmare. Um, I will be in and out of the system before breakfast knows what ate it. Jackpot, baby! I am your crypt, crypt, crypto godress. Roxy. It is woman, woman versus machine. A struggle old is stuffed itself. She will bring spur to its knees and then turn. With a shit, shit, red, wrecking his fa face and stare into the void, and the void will wonk first. Okay. Interesting. Oh shit. <laughs> 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 
I don't understand. Are you, you are typing some sort of computer program? No, that was all mostly a huge load. All that noisy keyboard banging I just mentioned was me just typing all that shit I said to you. Well, I did type it super fast, though. Just like they do in states, dumb fake movies about primo hackers who are the best. I guess I hacked into our conversation with BS instead of codes. <laughs> but you, for real, I'm just dragging, dragging, dropping some game shit in Jake's place. It is easy as a butt. This kitty game is a bit waste of my baller expertise. Sex per titties. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sex per titties. Oh god. That that's a quote. That needs to be quoted. Sex per titties. Yes. Slash obligatory. Hey look, a totem lathe. K whatever. Bonk, down it goes in that patch off dirt, I guess. Bang! Fits on that patch of dirt like a Flash shitting slipper. Next! Oh, I understand. You're beginning then. Good. Yes, I'm on a roll getting my peeps outside, splitting the ball before junk turns to pumpkin. So, what are you going to give me back there? Right. It's a present I made for you. Ooh. It could be a farewell gift, actually. Huh? Are you leaving? Maybe. I'm about to go to sleep one last time before a scheduled entry. But there's a very real possibility that I will never wake up. Oh no, why? It's complicated. There's much to say about it, which I've never told you due to my adherence to the rules. Some of which I'm about to break now, in order to give myself a fighting chance. But before I go down that serpentine path with you, here. One. One last bit of artwork from an admirer. Something to remember me by, should we never speak again. <gasps> Roxy, is that this is you dot gif? That is the candy swirl I was talking about, by the way. Candy swirl. Alright. Oh, shit. Holy, holiest of shit. The shit is downright sacrosanct. Oh, my G, oh, my G, oh, my G, oh, my G. This owned my bones. <laughs> Look at my outfit. Want to wear that outfit. Want to kiss and marry that outfit. Look at that lollipop. That fucking lollipop. Hey, <laughs> look at me oh, going okay. in for y'all lick like I'm the queen of fuck all, y'all. What is that in my hair? Is that caught all catone candy? Indeed it is. Say hellos to new poem Walt. Sorry, baby eating Jake husband. You are out. Slash divorced. <laughs> yes, perfection. More like perfecture. Per, perfe perfection is that what is what is it giving me. I'm getting the perf boners up in here. Nice. I really enjoy drawing you. It, it's a treat. You're just so pretty. Oh, hearts and hashes. Anyway, I'm very pleased that you like my drawing. I love it. I love you. You times combo times two combat. You do really? Yes, for so reallys. Reallys. Uh, blimey. <laughs> this comes as quite a surprise. Well, I mean, not like let's not get space married, love. More like you're the best, and I like 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 you a lot, love. Oh, then the conciliatory type, I understand. How dare you just be the conciliatory type? Do you realize what they just did? Motherfucker, <laughs> please. Well, I mean, uh... uh I, wait, I didn't mean to jerk you around. Did you feel that way about me? Ah, oh, shit, I'm sorry. I know how it no, feels be. with me and Jake. <laughs> I know how it feels. No, don't be. That is not how I feel about anyone, about you or anyone. Though I truly wish I were capable of those feelings. Perhaps the fact that I am not is why this topic fascinates me so, and why I have been prone to indulge in such fanciful visualizations of your people's lovely bright red relationships. They must be nice. <laughs> wow. Oh, well, well, it's not like I would know either way, but that's cool. I didn't know that about you. I don't know anything about you, but I wish I did. Can't you at least tell me your name before you maybe go ways forever? Yes, as a matter of fact. Oh my god! That is actually the reason I am contacting you. It is one rule I've decided to break. Oh fuck, what is it? My name is Calliope. Oh! I like it! Jay! Calliope Mori on this goddamn money. Mori I don't want your fucking money. I just want your life. Holy shit. Okay, that's cool. The homes are just giving us a name like that? For the Jay. first time and probably Jay. last. <laughs> oh no, Jay. Does that mean Calliope's gonna die? Jay. Is Calliope gonna die or is. Or is How many letters is that? Four, eight. Uh oh. <laughs> 
What are the first three letters of it? Oh, God. Just like Calmasis, the complacency to learn person. No, oh, God. Cal starts with Cal, and it's eight letters. Please stop. A little scared. Motherfucker. <laughs> Bitch boy. Right. It feels so strange to type that, but also good, actually. Interesting. Well, thank you for finally confiding in me, Kalilope. <laughs> Kaliope, sorry. You're welcome. It is good to get it off my chest, but I am prim primarily telling you this is a last resort in hopes of saving myself. You see, this rule between me and my brother is kind of a truce. We have both agreed not to say our names to anyone so that things will not get out of hand, and so it became one of the rules. If anyone were to say his name to me, I would immediately fall asleep and he would wake up. So you, uh, so, uh, will you understand if I refrain from telling you his as well? So he's oh. sleeping now. Yes, fortunately for both of us. Now, chronologically speaking, I have never contacted you after this moment. So if I never wake up from my next nap, you will never hear from me again. <gasps> That's what it is! Mm -hmm. If you do not uh, hear from me l later, I, w I would very much appreciate it if you could message my brother and say my name. It may only be the only chance I have to wake up again. Fuck, this is highly terrible and serious stuff you're saying, but yes, I'll def do that. Splendid. <laughs> Should now, I wish we had more time to talk. Quick, what auto rules were you going to break? Spill it, Callie. I want to. It is overwhelming trying to be ca ca yeah, cavalier about rules. I've respected all my life. I'm not sure where to begin. Well, what I wonder is, you said you couldn't have romantic feelings or red relations, as you said in your trolley way. Oh, I can have romantic feelings, just not the flushed kind, which humans describe as romantic love. Okay, but I didn't think that was alien to you, not... I didn't think I was alien to you. Not the way you made it sound. Like, don't trolls have the four kinds and one kind? It's just straight-up love feelings? Yes, that's right, but... No, bugger, this is Wait, how does Roxy admit. know that? Probably because she's talked about this before. Fair enough. Um, I am sorry for saying things which may have reasonably led you to believe this. Probably way too many things, but I'm not actually a troll. Booyah, Jay! Ha! I was right. Motherfucker. I win. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, really? I've never actually claimed to be, but I'm sure I've implied it probably due to wishful thinking. I've spent so much time wishing I could be one. Trolls are a remarkable and fascinating race. Humans are too, please don't get me wrong. But I am out and out, out and out smitten with trolls and their history and ways. They're such amazing, colorful society. Dynam uh, sorry, sorry, social dynamics that sound like so much fun to be a part of. And they are so beautiful. I wish I could be that pretty. Unfortunately, I'm not very attractive at all. Sad to say, no one would kiss the corpse I would leave behind. Even if there was uh, so was someone around to survive me, I doubt they would be inclined to bother. For uh, several reasons, actually, but really, it was always for the best that I cannot have fully flushed feelings. No one could ever love me. Oh man, no, uh -huh. that's not true. It is, and it's for the best that no one has to ever see my face aside from my brother. But I want to see you. I promise I won't think you look bad or judge you. No, I'm sorry. No face reveal from you, you. <laughs> now what kind of alien are you? Wait, wait don't tell me you're actu acutely from your nanus. <laughs> no. I just happened to be a planet from your system that I thought was lovely, because you... <laughs> I was particularly struck by its unique rotation. It has a very nice bollocks. What's the word? The term that refers to a ball's top spin. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't matter. But no, I'm not even from your universe. Let alone your right planet. My species has never been, never even had a home planet. What species are you? I am a cherub. J. What's a cherub? I don't know, but I remember. I don't know how I remember this. I remember, um, when Hussey was talking at the end of uh, like right before he got shot by Lord English. He mentioned cherubs. Let me see if I can find it. Interesting. And we were like, what's a cherub? We like, wait, let me, let me see if I can find it. Page 4808. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know how I remember this. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> now, anyway, uh, uh, continuing with the cherub. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, fine. I'll read the, the, the sentence then. I thought you were going to go to it, but it's fine. 
48 or It was when, uh, when Hasty was about to be shot by Lord English, and he was like, please let magic be real, please let magic be real, please let magic be real. I believe that magic is real right now. I believe so hard in its reality that it's becoming slightly less fake before our very eyes. I believe its fakeness was just a lie coughed up from Dark Magician's spurious asshole. I believe in fairies. I believe dragons aren't bullshit. I believe heartily in the giggles of all the cherubs in heaven and the metric tons of special stardust they consume each day to fuel their laughter. Interesting. Etc. Yeah, but yeah, he mentioned cherubs. Okay. Oh. Fascinating. OMG, that is amazing. Like, you have wings or such? Is a cherub like an actual thing? What is a cherub? Can't remember. Have wings? Cherubs in heaven. Wait, is cherubs like a religious thing? No. I'm scared to look it up. We'll ask our Discord later. Let's ask the Discord later. <laughs> No, I doubt I'm what you're picturing, but aside from a few superficial similarities, we are very different from trolls and humans. We're not a social race, but generally, we generally will net not ever encounter another of our kind, unless it's our time to mate. And when that time comes, our courtship is nothing like that is for humans. It is highly confrontational and violent. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds lonely. Plus with t hex of tricky sex. It is lonely, but that is in our nature, to be alone, just as it is to find attraction through contempt. Now that I think about it, I should have known. I have been so foolish. Know what? With the nature of my game session, I believed he and I could play together, even under our unique biological circumstances. I was so daft, I thought Skya had actually made an exception for us, and that we could overcome our conflicts, work together, and fulfill the game's minimum requirement of two players, one of space and the other of time. But I was never... Oh, that makes sense. I don't think... Have we explicitly been told that before? I don't remember. I don't remember either. But yeah, so because space, you need a, you need a space player for to breed fro frogs and a time player, I guess, just to manage time and stuff so that we don't mess up. Yeah. Jay, guess what? What? Remember our jokes about about Hussy being like the god of the world and coming from. Oh cause he's, god. Because he's a space player. Oh god. Well, he probably couldn't have done it alone, but you know who could have helped him? Oh no. The nick of time. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> The waste of space in the nick of time created our universe, I swear. Okay. I hate you. <laughs> okay. But I was always fooling myself. It was now clear only one of us will survive. My sky and visions have misled me, or I have blinded myself to their true meaning. This was always meant to be a session of one, and I'm finally starting to understand the reality that could have consequences more horrifying than we could begin to imagine. Um, how? thing is, you don't know him like I do. As hard as it is to believe, he is even worse than you think, and it's all such a shame. Not just because of that. It is a shame that I won't be able to play, I guess for selfish reasons. I was so looking forward to it, I really thought I was going to be someone special. That I could use my abilities to do something no one had ever done before. Hey, you're, not, look, you're all being so defeated. Stop that. You don't know you won't be late. We haven't even tried to wake the, the wake-up call yet, remember? <laughs> yes, you're right. Much like Sky, I have succumbed to a gloomier outlook lately, due to recent setbacks. So what's going to be special about your game aside from that? It's just your fuckhead bro and you. Well, I was always led to believe I would be an extraordinary type of player. Both of us would be. We are both ex assigned extremely rare and powerful classes. They are the two master classes. Ooh. Oh yeah, what's yours? Mine is the most passive on the scale. A class designed for females only. I am the muse of space. Ooh. Sounds pretty cool. What's muse do? I'm not entirely sure. I was just hoping to discover that in my own jur uh, my journey. Anyway, his is the other master class. The most active class of all, reserved for male players. What is it? Um, Roxy, I, I think we may be getting a wee bit carried away with the trivia here. We both have so much to do. You need to focus on getting to safety while I need to prepare myself for what I hope will be a short nap. Okay, you're right, Lasai. Worried for you, but optimistic. I will call your name like a million times and shout into the void every chance I get till you come back. We're a good friend, Roxy. Please take care. Aww. Oh boy. Oof. Jay? Wait, 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 wait. What, what are they doing? Are they gloves? They're taking up gloves. Magic color liquid paint. Oh no. Oh. Wait. Does she work with her English? I. I Jay. Is Lord English the same race? That's what it seems. 
And so is Jigsaw, because Jigsaw always looks like that. You're not Calliope. Calliope D. Horn. Holy fuck. Hello? She was dressed up as a troll. Yep. She's chained? Her leg is chained to something. Yep. She's got various pictures of, of the, the characters on her wall. Yeah. Holy shit! This is terrifying. She's got, like, just slabs of meat on the floor. A broken chessboard. Yep. I don't like that. So Hussey was dressed up as Calliope, dressed up as the troll? It seems so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. Because Hussey had that white hair, gray face paint, and those horns. And also her outfit. Dear God. God help <laughs> so us. He was dressed up as Calliope, dressed up as a troll. God help us all. Or Calmasis. Or was Calmasis dressed up as a troll? Wait, what the fuck? Just stop trying to rationalize it. There's no rationality. Or is Calmasis. No, 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 no! There, no his, stop okay. trying! Stop trying to rationalize this shit. There's no rational uh, no, rationalizing this. Oh, she's got the uh, oh gosh, the till death book, by the way. Yep. And there's something on top of that that I don't know what it is. I'm not sure. Just read this. Holy shit! Okay, you move the last accessory to your prize cosplay ensemble and put it uh, neatly with the rest of the stuff. The place is messy enough already without tossing horns about carelessly. You have many fond memories of solo cosplay in your room. It has been a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun and alarmingly comfortable to just lounge around your room and character. I really hope that you'll get the chance to put it on again after you nap. Well, if you're not the face paint. You don't wear that so much anymore. He gets especially furious when you do. Call IP examine our work. These are just a few of the many drawings you have done over the years. Celebrating your absolute all-time favorite, all favorite characters. Rose... That is at the top right. Is that the Colors and Mayhem like cover art? The album? It's a good question. I think it is. One second. Who's this? Uh, that's probably your troll OC. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I hate that that's just something that exists. <laughs> yep. Oh, okay. That's part of... Okay, cool. Here, go to... Does it matter? Probably doesn't matter. Open a chat, go to home, and go to music real quick. Just real quick. Say that one more time, Holmes. I uh, just go to the music. Where do I find that? There. There. The Colors and Mayhem cover art. B. Uh huh. That has eight characters, but the Dirk, Roxy, Jake, and Jane from that cover art is what's in the. If you go over to the page run. Yep. On the wall. Yeah. Okay. I was like, I saw that somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, you often like to draw your troll son. Yep. Yep. Calliope. Holy shit. Wow. Is that how you're supposed to pronounce it? Calliope? Maybe this one's supposed to be Calliope. Because there, there's probably many ways to pronounce this name. It could also be Cal Calliope. Or Cal I don't know. Calliope. Um, Calliope. That's okay, now I'm actually confused. Is it Calliope? It doesn't matter. Head cannon. That's not how head cannons work, but it's how it works for me. I love it. Okay. Yes, I suppose that's a stretch. Fitting your name into the six-six letter format uh, like that—that's okay, though. The Lion Bloods reportedly had the, some unusual names, and they sure weren't very popular. You'd like to believe that you'd fit right in. She probably doesn't <laughs> actually have Lion Blood. I mean, she might. Maybe this, there's a. I don't know. Who knows? Because there's a lot of, like, the, the green and red, like, dual duality. For all we know, that's something in the Cherub Society. Yep, fair enough. Uh, you, you've you written endlessly about her, and nearly filled a hard drive with related artwork. You have wished for nothing more in your life than to be her. Alas, you are resigned to living out, uh, the out the rest of your days as a little green skull monster. It really sucks. Yeah, they're even referring to her as a skull monster, meaning that they're definitely related to Lord English, at least yep. in uh, species-wise. Yep. To the left is a drawing of nothing in particular. Nothing you understand, at least. There's a symbol which has haunted your visions for as long as you can remember. Calliope. 
Oh, examine the mess. It's always been a pain. I'm gonna say Kalei because I like the name Kalei. Fair <laughs> enough. Until someone tells me otherwise. I don't care either way. I'll do whatever I want. <laughs> it's my world, and you are all living in it. It's always been a pain. Only because I know bit. somebody that, who, who I know somebody like created his name Calliope, and it's like, mm. okay, good. Inter- so no, they it's not. They ha- do live with each other, but they never interact with each other IRL because they're always asleep when the other one's awake, and that's why only one of them smashed the key the chessboard. Oh. He's always been a pain to live with, but now he seems to be the, on the verge of victory. He's completely out of control during one of your recent naps. He apparently threw a full-blown tantrum and dumped a whole bunch of meat and candy on your side of the room. He also broke your lovely chessboard in half. That was him. And scattered the pieces around the room, most of which are now t- missing. Talk about the shitty roommate. Calliope. Tidy up a little. Calliope. Calliope. God damn it, Jay. It's my world, you're all living out. in it. You sell the hmm. delicious mess in your silly decks. You might be inclined to snack on it now, but due to the nature of your juju modus, you cannot access it. Uh, once, you're, once you have to log something, you're, only your brother can use it, and vice versa. Oh. Oh, god damn it. <gasps> you always make sure to never capture log anything that is particularly important to you. You think sometimes he chucks stuff over to your side of the room just to bait you into capture logging it for him and getting it into his inventory. You kind of don't think he was in... in- Engaging in such machinations at the time, though. It looks like he was just being a petulant brat. That's all I have to examine box. It's a, a box of special <laughs> stuff. Oh my god, fuck off. What I just read in that hussy dialogue. And the special stardust they eat. It's a box of special stardust. Cherubs <laughs> love this stuff. They eat it like breakfast cereal every day. It doesn't even have any magical properties, though. It's really just some use... Well, it's part sparkly powder they like to eat. It's basically inedible to any other kind of creature. However, it is potentially quite useful for it for your use arts and crafts. Calliope, see what you've got capsulized. Oh boy. I feel like we should say the same name, whether I say Calliope or, or, or you say Calliope. Why? I don't know. I feel like it's a bit weird going back, like, saying different names. Um, I don't think it really matters. I'll join you for now because that's what the troll's name was, Calliope. But oh, yeah, okay. Given the frustrating nature of your modus, your silly extends to serve as more of a mutual garbage dump than an inventory. You're almost afraid to look at what he's left in there for you. <sighs> Calliope is a real hideous bitch. Not good at chess. Your death will be your single greatest achievement. Your friends will be happy. Seems she has left a series of unpleasant notes to taunt you. Recently, he's taken interest in wanting to draw, which you think is an extremely generous way of putting it. He's always shown you su- such a te- contempt for art in general. Maybe he's finally trying to expand his horizons? Or maybe he's just uh, looking for, uh, for yet another way to stick it to you. When you die, I will paint everything with your blood, even my words like this. So yeah, the, she probably does have a lame blood then. Yep. I'll have you check out the green tongue. <gasps> Uh oh. J. Uh oh. J. Uh uh. No. No. Is this the tome that Rose is currently writing in the veil? I assume so. Making absolutely sure not to capture log it, you remove your tablet, which you use to pen all the striking visuals related to your favorite epic. The ancient tome where is your where there there is your chief source of information about said epic. It was written by a legendary seer of light many years ago. While there are some of your serious holes in the account, dark spots, if you will, it nevertheless remains an indispensable resource. Calliope, open it up. <laughs> it is. It is. It is indeed. <laughs> this is David Carcat's fight. <laughs> 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 You're gonna, I'm gonna make you draw so many dicks. Look, I drew a square. I'm gonna draw another one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna draw a fucking graph. <laughs> you open the book to a random page. All right, this one. This page has always baffled you. You've started at it, stared at it long and hard, trying to decipher some sort of hidden meaning behind what appears to be pure chaos. <laughs> You're sure there's meaning in here? It is always there when it comes to this tale. Wait a minute. <laughs> 
Something has just occurred to you. This drawing style is highly reminiscent of your brother's, which until recently you had never seen before. It's almost uncanny, since you have a for arbitrary, completely baffling straight lines and right angles. Almost as I was trying unsuccessfully to begin construing a grid. Constructing a grid? In this odd shape, there could be... Could they be his depiction of bones? <laughs> he sure is obsessed with death. No, you think this could possibly be a coincidence. The comparison is too perfect for it to mean absolutely nothing. <laughs> Did he arrive when this was being No. Written? Or was he already there somehow? He is supposedly an exceptionally advanced hero of time, after all. <laughs> could it be that your horrible, stupid brother of all people have been inextricably involved in your beloved epic all along? <laughs> For the first time ever, you just uncovered compelling evidence that it might be true. This is what you've always enjoyed doing, agonizing over every detail of this epic, trying to craft theories and to explain mysteries. You think you're pretty good at it, too. But now that you think about it, maybe your theories are just too far-fetched. Actually, it is completely preposterous. You don't even know what you were thinking there. You're sure You're sure he would get a kick out of the idea, though. With what his, what with his megalomaniac, I'm sorry, megalomaniacal view of himself as some sort of lethal puzzle master always boasting that red herrings swim through his veins and such, which is just about the biggest crock of shit uh, you ever heard. Calliope flipped another page. Huh. Oh. Yeah, see here? There are dark spots you, you were referring... These are, these are the dark spots you were referring <sighs> to. Little tidbits here and there that have been redacted by some fool with no respect for history. Looks like he used some kind of peculiar indigo. It's ink. not ink. It's blood. Frustratingly exactly. enough, blood. most of the redactions start at target any piece of information about the indestructible demon who is either directly or indirectly behind every terrible event in the story. Everything about him, like where he came from, information about his manipulative right hand man, his agenda, his abilities, his name, all of it has been voided out. Most of the other blot outs, you know, they don't even realize that they're related to Lord English. Most of the other blotted out seem to target one member of the post scratch troll group. Some guy who drinks a lot of soda. He cut, he cut himself and Lord English out. Uh, yep. These submissions strike you as much less consequential, frivolous even. Whoever that guy was, he sounds like he was easily the least important character in the entire story. <laughs> oh, you would like to think that, wouldn't you? Calliope. <laughs> Examine Black Tome. It's the till death. Alright. Yep. This is for the programming book. You don't care much for programming, but you've adapted it as a fan fiction journal. Huh. You filled it completely with your most colorful headcanons and ronfics. You've also pasted in some of your artwork, turn, uh, turning a rather dreary manual on, on some morbid uh, tilt heavy language into a lively scrapbook. Most of the stories involve Callie, and all of them involve heavy themes of mo romance, particularly the other three quadrants, uh, which are completely alien to you, and therefore especially titillating. Calliope open. Calliope. 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 Calliope? Calliope. No, Calliope. 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 Um. Either E or A. Or, no, you'd rather not. Down that road lies only endless embarrassments. The thing you made sweet, innocent Callie do. It, the things you made sweet, innocent Callie do. If you had a bed, you would scoot the whole dang thing underneath where, there, where no one could see. And also, if that hypothetical bed wasn't in neutral territory, you don't even want to imagine what he'd do if he got his hands on it. <laughs> Calliope, retrieve one. The white one is your weapon of choice. Half the time. Magic is very handy. Some believe magic to be fake, but you know better than that. Of course, if anyone tried using this wand right now, it would seem like magic wasn't real. C can't very well use magic when your wand is out of bullets. <laughs> Calliope, ro load wand. What the fuck? Oh. It's just a gun. I see. You load your white magnum. You wouldn't trade your dueling weapon for any other. It is lightweight, elegant, and precise, like a conductor's baton with stopping power. Your brother's favorite weapon is a little more heavy-handed to each his own, you guess. Calliope, examine chest. Mm. This is your juju chest. You keep your juju inside, surprisingly enough. Calliope, Calliope, let's have a look inside. You gaze upon your dear, sweet, precious, sweet, sweet juju. It is the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your life, how your brother would love to get his grubby claws on it, and how you would love to get yours on his for that matter. Suddenly it becomes painfully clear that we aren't going to get a look at this thing, at least not for a while, how typical. Why don't we stop wasting everyone's time, shut the lid on this lousy MacGuffin, and get on with it? Calliope, holster <laughs> magnum. You neatly put the weapon where it belongs. No need to wear it, since you'll be preparing for your nap soon. Kind of wish straightening up your room doesn't didn't feel so much like getting your affairs in order. 
Can I pee examine other chain? Calliope. I don't know, man. It doesn't really matter. I'm so used to seeing that and reading Calliope. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter either way. Like I said, it's just a pronunciation. It's not yeah. like it's a whole different character. So the chain you shackle to your other leg when you're about to go to sleep. You're the only one who was able to unlock it. Both chains are totally unbreakable, and their anchors are immovable from the wall due to a mysterious and juju enchantment. All juju enchantments are equally mysterious. Each is more equally mysterious. Each is more equally mysterious than the other. Well, then the last. Sleeping with shackled legs doesn't make for a very comfy slumber. Still, it's advisable to stay in the habit unless you want all your belongings to get messed with. Kelly, you pay check out bed. Oh. Jay. Yep, that's the same thing that English was in. Mm. It looks kind of like a sarcophagus. Yep, it's a sarswapagus. And it says, <laughs> it's like you said, you don't have a bad, you have a sarswapagus. Swap, let me guess. They trade out every time. If she gets in it, she goes to sleep. The other guy hops and, out. Yeah. Who, I'm making a prediction right now. Her brother's name starts with Cal. And is eight letters long. Maybe. I bet you anything. <laughs> Calamuses, Calliope, Calliope, I don't know. Okay, remove cover. I don't like this. <laughs> Every time you wake up, you are <clears throat> always sure to put the lid back on neatly. Considering you're virtually always finding it exactly where you left it, you doubt your brother's anywhere near as diligent about making the bed. Wait, you mean Sarswapagus. The fact that he's a slob was never exactly breaking news to anyone, neither in the fact that you both share a body. I mean, that's what it is. They share a body. Oh, fuck. I mean, come on. Calliope, examine ladder. Oh, fuck. And sleeps outside. Being tethered to the wall, you can't venture too far beyond the exit, exit door. But you might as well go for a bit, bit of fresh air before you sleep. One more six-foot radius stroll in the sun. It could be your last chance. Calliope, exit. Oh, fuck. Yep. You step into the sunlight. Sunlight in this planet is sort of hard to avoid. Comes a great supply from your planet to start. A massive red supergiant. Your world is so old, its star is reaching the end of its life cycle. It may collapse any day now. Calliope, look around one last time. Jay? Yeah. I think what's happening... This is my wild prediction. Not really prediction, it's just my theory, I guess. So, their world is old, because the star is about to die. Yep. I'm assuming... Uh, their society has gone on so long because the way that chair of nature about I'm assuming it's uh, you know everyone my guess is that this is not a unique scenario they all share the body right yeah so um like you know they're all paired up so like it's nigh impossible to actually be in a um in a sperm session in this in this universe interesting so they've never actually been able to do sperm, so the universe has never actually been able to reproduce, so they've been stuck in this world. Yep. Right? Nearing the end, where everything's just gonna die the old-fashioned way, Calliope, Calliope and, uh, and and her brother are were, had the idea, or she had the idea of of trying to save themselves by creating, by playing sperm. Yeah. That's my guess. Alright, go ahead. <laughs> Whatever way it is you finally depart this world, you're gonna miss the place. <gasps> Sorry, I went to the next page. <laughs> okay, next page. It's a cool, it's a cool... Oh, the next one. I don't know. There we go. It's very peaceful here. Oh, wait, that's the... J. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's the veil? And she also has Rose's Tome. Yep. This isn't oh good. Oh, God. How did that happen? No. Wait, what's she staring out at? Oh, that's a savvy statue of liberty. What the fuck? How the fuck did that get there? That's one of Dave's shitty JPEGs, isn't it? Yep. What the fuck? Though, to be honest, you could do without some of the tacky scenery. Also, I think this is a, a partly a, a Planet of the Apes reference. <laughs> oh, God. 
Wait, what's in this statue's hand? A torch. Really bad torch, I guess. You've always had the feeling that whoever you used to live on this planet had a really strange sense of humor. Select character. Wait, wait a second. Hold on. Go, wait. Whoever used to live on this planet had a really strange sense of humor. Who used to live on the planet? It's a good question. Does she live on, like, future post scratch Earth? Maybe. Jay! Weird. Holy shit. Jay, that would explain why the veil's there, because the veil did get to Earth, right? Oh, yeah. And also, that would explain why all the shitty JPEGs were there. When JPEGs were there, because Jerk was saying that they'd just come down occasionally. <laughs> you know, they want to get rid of them. They never were able to get rid of them. Yeah. Oh my god, this is... They're living on post scratch Earth in the future. How, where the hell did they come from? Good question. I'm very confident in this, but I think... Let's read this page, and then we'll, we'll stop. Because, <laughs> Jay, oh. he may have lost track of time. Oh! <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh! Yeah. <clears throat> do you want to be little you you or do you want me to be little you you? I'll do it. Hey, I would like to play a game. It's called Bond with an Idiot Sister over some bullshit shared interests before she dies forever. Does that sound fun? Here's a good part of the story, I think. You must know the one the one I mean. Let's talk about it together. Share, share some theories. Do some fangirling. Put you some fan art. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, uh, that was a very long episode. And we learned quite a bit. We learned about Calliope, Calliope... We're going to get yelled at either way. I don't care. But... <laughs> I'll call her bitch. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like. It would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe to the so that episodes come out in the future. Make sure to join your Discord so you talk talk to us about stuff. We always love to have you there. And uh, follow us on Twitter because Jay posts there uh, sometimes. Once in a blue moon, <laughs> I'd like to say. Yeah, and uh, and yeah, with that we love y'all, and I'll get, we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye bye. bye what the fuck was that? <laughs>